Okay, today I'm going to show you how you can add audio to your Google Slides. This could be used to give the kids directions, um, especially with the younger grades. Sometimes it's easier if you could explain um, a slide to them or what they need to do. So the first thing you would need to do is install a recorder on your Google Chrome. So I have one up here, but I'm going to show you where you would go to do that. So go to a new tab, click apps in the left hand corner and then at the very bottom you're going to click web store. You're going to search for a voice recorder and you'll have a couple options here that show up and you'll click add to Chrome. When you add to Chrome it'll show up here for you to use. Since I already have one I'm not going to install any of those. Okay so let me go back to our Google Slides. I'm going to click insert audio and any audio I've recorded is going to show up in my drive. So for example, I recorded uh, this one earlier. I'm going to click it and click select and then I'm going to have a little um, volume speaker button show up. This is going to be their play button. Now on the right hand side shows you your options so you can have the kids where they have to click it to listen to or when the slide shows up it'll automatically start playing. You could also click loop video if you need the sound to keep going over and over and then this last option down here would be to stop um, the audio when they change slides. So I'm going to show you kind of how that would look on a slide I've already created. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to click present and mine is set to automatic. Okay, so today you are going to go through some slides about plants. And to start, I want you to click the sun and watch a quick little video. Then afterwards, return to the slideshow and click the arrow at the bottom. You're going to use this arrow throughout the whole slideshow to get to where you need to go. Okay, so that's just an example of how you could use audio or voiceover. Um, the Chrome extension that you add should be fairly simple to use. You click the button here, you just press start, and then when you're done creating your audio, it's going to give you an option to save. And so I would save that into your, um, a folder that's easy to find on your Google Drive.